Hey guys, welcome to the second Vlogmas video. Um, I am in no position to be on camera. I'm currently on my couch and I'm probably going to remain here for, well, time for bed. Um, I did mention in a few other videos that I have been sick and I finally broke down and went to the doctor. So I am on the mend, but definitely need to rest up and get back to normal that way so the next couple of clips in the vlogmas video I probably will not be in but I definitely am looking forward to getting back on camera here soon I'm sure that by this weekend I will probably be better today is Tuesday so I hope you guys are having a great day thanks for watching this second vlogmas video and if you're interested in seeing what kind of shenanigans we've gotten up to, then just keep watching. So I wanted to share with you guys some of the recipes that I'm going to be making today. I'm going to be doing some Christmas treats and we're going to be taking them to some neighbors, some friends. So this is a recipe for a dessert called the Grey Stuff. So if you are remotely into Disney or know anything about Beauty and the Beast, you will remember that in the movie during the song Be Our Guest, it's um, it actually has a line that says, try the gray stuff, it's delicious. So this is the recipe spawned by that song lyric. So to make it, you need, it's the recipe calls for 15 Oreos crushed up. I don't know if I'll actually use 15. Um, I find that it tastes really good with just a few crushed up Oreos. Um, you need two tablespoons of chocolate um, pudding mix. I have a sugar-free variety just because it was on clearance at Target. A tub of uh, whipped topping. I chose light just for less calories. And then you need a box of instant vanilla pudding, which is what is in here. I had a double size box used like a teaspoon of it so that's what I'm going to put in there and then it needs one and a half cups of milk we drink fat free milk at our house so that's what I'm going to be using and you just mix it all up I will have the recipe linked for you guys down below of course and I will show you what it looks like after it's all mixed so just keep watching okay so here's the masterpiece all mixed up together and it is getting ready to go into my refrigerator for chilling kind of just to give it that more like whipped um, cold consistency it's really really good right now but it definitely tastes better whenever it is cold and so it'll be in the refrigerator for about two hours before it's ready to serve and then who knows I'll probably eat it with my hands out of the bowl I mean it's like crack it is so good so again I will have the recipe linked for you guys down below and I know that a lot of people like to put like sprinkles on it, like the little sprinkles that look like pearls. I know that's what they do at Walt Disney World, so you could definitely take it and dress it up and garnish it with pretty sprinkles. Um, usually, I just eat it out of a bowl or, you know, with my fingers because I have no self-control. So, anyways, this is the gray stuff. So, the next venture in my little baking day is these cookies. They are um, chocolate cookies with peanut butter chips in them. I just followed the recipe that is on the bag of the um, Reese's chips. So, I will definitely look for that and link it for you guys down below. But these guys are ready to go in the oven and I will definitely show you the finished product whenever they are done. Okay, so here we have them and may I just say... They are delicious. Some of them are kind of like oddly shaped, I guess, because I didn't use like a cookie scoop. I just used a spoon, but so good, so gooey, love them. They are tempting me so bad right now. So as soon as they finish cooling on the cooling rack, I'll be placing them in a bag and we will enjoy them as well as our family and friends. So the next venture that I'm going into is my oatmeal cookies. So... I will probably wait until they are finished to show you guys just because it's a pretty basic recipe. So anyways, just keep watching. Okay, so this is probably going to be the like most ridiculously informal haul slash vlog ever. Um, we've actually filmed it twice and I fired hubby from being the cameraman and I'm just going to do it myself. So we went to Target tonight. And he's blaming it on the dog. But we went to Target tonight and I wanted to try some things from the Target car wheels, some deals. So 
we'll just get this out of the way first because it was not a sale item. It just came from the Target Dollar Spot, and it is a Moana Play Pack. It comes with four crayons, 25 stickers, and a 24-page fun size coloring book. These are so cute and so convenient. My niece loves them, so I thought this would be great for her to have either in the car or if we're at a restaurant or on our vacation that we're going on soon. So again, Target Dollar Spot. And now, hubby is going to make himself useful by holding up the clothing items that I purchased. So, this is the first one. How cute is Stitch? I'm in love. And it was a 70% off clearance item um, at $388. And then after the 25% off, it became $291. So, super stoked about that. Here, babe, pick up this one. This is my favorite item from the whole haul. Oh, can we just... Okay, I feel like I'm on a roller coaster. It says on Ed's nays. <laughs> oh, God, this is terrible. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. That's obviously from Mean Girls. I'm so excited about it. I've wanted a Mean Girls shirt forever, and I'm going to work out in this shirt. It was also 70% off at $388, so the final price was $291. And then we have one more clothing item here, which is definitely, like, the nicest item. And it's, like, a tunic... It is throwing off the focus, that design. But um, the pink isn't really picking up, but it has like a baby blush pink and off-white and then a black. And it is from the Morona brand. I picked it up in a size extra small because I have some other items from Morona and I wear an extra small in there. Um, and it was 70% off at $7.48. And after the 25% off, it was like 5 <laughs> oh, excuse me. It was like 560 or something like that. So a really great deal for a really pretty shirt. And I'm really excited about it. We are going to go ahead and end this train wreck of a vlog slash haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. You going to say bye, babe?